take one out. Oh. Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> going on guys today I'm gonna to hit some chest and triceps I know I hit it in my last um, in my last video but today I'm gonna to run through how you should be sort of tracking your macros and weighing yourself and stuff whether you're bulking like me or trying to lose weight so basically every day you're gonna wake up and weigh yourself um, and write it down for them seven days you're gonna average it so obviously you add them all up divide it by seven and that is your average and then obviously for the next week, you're going to do the same, but you're going to adjust your macros depending on whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight. Adjust your macros. Um, so obviously, if you're trying to gain weight, up your carbs. If you're trying to lose weight, and obviously try and hold on to the muscle, maybe lower your carbs, add in cardio sessions, whatever suits you best. But make sure you're tracking every single day your macros, your morning weigh-ins. And then from then, you can just sort of go from there because you don't want to be losing weight drastically. And I don't want to be gaining weight drastically, so I'm sort of trying to gain around half a kilo a week. Um, so yeah, just just remember, if you are trying to bulk up, up your carbs. If you're trying to lose weight, um, then obviously lower your carbs a bit. But make sure you are tracking your weigh-ins and your macros so you know what what is best for you. Because everyone's different, and yeah. Anyway, I'm starving. I'm going to go to gym in about an hour, so I'm going to get... I can't get my words up. So I'm going to get some food now, so I'll show you what I'm having. Have you got anything to say about how you should be bulking or cutting? Or are you just bulking 24-7? Hmm? Yeah, I thought so. Right, you guys are probably thinking I'm about to have some chicken and rice. I'm not. Because I just want to have something quick, I'm literally just going to have a, plate, a bowl or a plate. Well, I'm just going to have some pasta with cheese. Um, if you guys are looking for something to flavour your pasta with, um, you can't really see this, but this is like tomato puree. Um, it sounds a bit weird, but if you have tomato puree with like cheese and pasta, it's actually quite nice. So that's what I'm going to have. Um, also, a pro tip for you guys, if you want to speed up the boiling of your water, boil the kettle and yeah, that's it. So we're going to have 100 grams of this pasta. Hundred and two. I'm gonna add the pasta. Whilst that's cooking, I'm just gonna have one of these yogurts, blackberry and raspberry corn yogurt. I'm starving, so I'm just gonna quickly have this. All right, I'm now I'm gonna add some tomato puree. What? That should be enough. All right, so I'm gonna eat this, get ready for the gym, and then yeah, I'll see you after. Well, I just finished up eating that pasta. Just gonna quickly have a cheeky banana before we go. Um, get that potassium in. I don't really like bananas that much. So I don't know why I have them, but it's always good to sort of wait a little bit before you get to the gym after you've eaten. But it's probably gonna take me about twenty-ish minutes to get there. I'm actually, try and catch it in my mouth. Oh, yeah, I caught it. Right, so what I'm going to be having for pre-workout is this. It's like a little sample packet. Um, I do have a tub, but this is a different flavour. This is Tropical Burst. It's two servings. I've already had one serving the other week. So I'm going to try, try this out. I'm not sure if this is going to be too much, but I'm just going to put it all in and then we'll see how it is. Also, I haven't had my five grams of creatine today. So I'm just going to take it with my pre-workout then. With this pre-workout, you're supposed to stir it and not shake it. What I've realised why is that when you stir it, it actually tastes like it's a bit fizzy. So it's actually really, really nice. It's quite strong. But it's good. I'm not sure if you guys watched the video where I was explaining but I had like this pain in my shoulder. But I did train it the other day, very lightly, and it felt okay. And I can still feel the pain slightly, but it's not like really, really major. So hopefully when I'm doing chest, it's not going to affect it too, too much. But um, yeah, we'll find out. Hopefully it'll be right. It's a little bit cold to be fair. 
We are now in the Ferrari. Um, joke's not really. Just because, you know, I haven't done the edit in a little while. But yeah, uh, so I'm just gonna have like a quick rant before we go. Um, I just, I think it's very important to focus on what you want and just remembering why, you, remembering why you started. Like, try not like, if you know what you want and you know how you're gonna get there and you know what what you're gonna do, don't let like, don't let anything get in the way of that like just do you and whatever happens along that way happens and um, I think it's just very important to always trust yourself trust your trust the path wherever you're going I'm gonna be honest with you guys I, I'm dreaming like I'm thinking big I want to be one of the big youtubers I want to be I want to have my own gym I want to do online coaching I want to do all this stuff and I think it's important to not just to not doubt yourself I'm not gonna sit here and say oh, I'm not gonna do this oh, I'm not gonna get there it's too hard, there's too many people do it. Because if you work for it and if you set your mind to it, there is no like there's no like what is stopping you. And I think it's very important to just focus on what you want to do and just do it. So yeah, anyway. Enough talking. Let's go and smash some chess boy. Criminals, where do we go now? I'm sorry, I brought you in. gym times about 10 to 7 time to have some food on a level of 1 to 100 of hungry I'm about a thousand right now um, I'm I'm literally starving like do you ever get it where you you finish the gym and you literally like I've been sitting down for about five ten minutes just deciding what I could possibly eat what would make me feel like full um, this is, I'm not the sort of person to normally have tuna but I've run out of protein powder um, this tin here has 27 grams of protein zero fat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a tuna and sweet corn sandwich. See how we get on with this. I don't... Oh, that stinks, man. All right, let's add in some sweet corn. That was probably a bit too much, but... I'm going to leave the video there because I've actually got to edit this video now and get it ready for tomorrow. I just want to thank you for all your support and for watching and give the video a like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.